first question is obviously going to be about the second cloud region that you guys have opened here. What differentiated solutions with this cloud region drive? Was there a strategic uh, uh, thought process when you chose Delhi as your second cloud region? We are expanding our local infrastructure in response to customer demand. You know, that's how it always is as we go from country to country, region to region. And we opened up Mumbai uh, cloud region in India in 2017. And uh, we kept talking to our customers, our partners, and they kept telling us we need, you know, something else as a second region. And hence, Delhi NCR is our 11th region in Asia Pacific. Uh, NCR is home to a number of Indian top startups. It has a seismic distinction. Uh, and that made it a natural choice for Google Cloud to set up the second region here. So when we look at benefits for our customers first, it makes it easier and faster for Indian digital natives uh, and traditional enterprises to leverage Google Cloud's on-demand network that's faster, more reliable and less expensive than one they could build themselves. Uh, consumers in the northern part of the country having much better latencies than if it was operating out of any other part of the country. So that's the first point. The second is the disaster recovery options that we are now giving to customers along with better control of their data through data residency, uh, operational transfer, uh, transparency and privacy controls. And uh, lastly, of course, it's more choice for our customers. They can store their data locally. They can you know, meet digital sovereignty requirements. And uh, you know, this is this is especially important if you look at the regulated industries uh, such as financial services and public sector. The Indian uh, public, public cloud market was worth $3.6 billion and uh, it's expected to almost triple by 2025, so it would, it would only be natural to say that you would be opening more cloud regions here in India. We are seeing so much happening here, especially, you know, since the pandemic. Uh, I mean, if you look at education ministries in India, they have embarked on large scale digital capacity building efforts to support teachers with tools and resources for remote teaching. Uh, if you look at the payment side, the banking, financial services side, uh, digital payment adoption, online banking, the adoption has risen to historic highs. Uh, you know, retail, if you look at how the shift has happened in terms of e-commerce, as people have moved most of their shopping online. So, you know, India is a, is a dynamic market and it is growing at a very significant pace. Now, we have just opened a second new region here and we are actually leading as far as you know setting up the infrastructure and technology that comes with the second region is concerned and we are expanding across the world uh, we we decide on additional regions depending on you know customer requests customer demand and what our customers want of us so as far as google cloud is concerned the launch of the second region is uh, clearly you know um, there to showcase the fact that we are dedicated to assisting India's commercial and economic recovery. We have made it very apparent that we intend to diversify our reach in the country. Can you point out some of the major verticals where you're seeing a lot of traction? In? Are there any segments, upcoming segments where you see that Google Cloud could take a lead? Globally, what we've done is that we've picked six specific verticals and those are, you know, the the ones that we are focused on in India as well. So these would be financial services. It would be telecom, media and entertainment uh, and gaming. So telecom, media, entertainment and gaming, retail and CPG, uh, healthcare and life sciences. And then, of course, manufacturing and industrial. And lastly, public sector. You must have recently read the announcement about the work that we're doing with Geo, uh, where we are helping them build you know, their core infrastructure around 5G as well as migrate some of their internal infrastructure to Google Cloud. If you look at uh, manufacturing, for example, we're working with TVS, where we are, we are helping them, TVS is into auto components, so we are helping them advance their goal of building out a digital ecosystem. Uh, if you look at somebody like, for example, you know, more in the ITES space, companies like Wipro, companies like Tech Mahindra, we're working with them on their SAP deployments, which are probably one of the largest deployments on cloud for SAP in the country today. So across the board, we've been working with different industries, different verticals, and we are seeing a significant amount of momentum coming out of all of them. Probably the two biggest trends which uh, led to the spurt in digital adoption as well as uh, cloud adoption 
was uh, the work from home, obviously, and uh, a huge spurt in video conferencing as well. So as we move forward, we, we uh, might see a hybrid work culture becoming the new normal. Just from your perspective, what do you think are the two major, two or three major trends that are going to drive Google Cloud's growth here in India? You're right. You know, as we've looked at, uh, you know, the pandemic, it has induced a certain differentiated way of working. And I think the products that we have in our collaboration portfolio, which is Google Workspace, uh, clearly, you know, clearly fulfills a specific need in the market. Uh, which is around, you know, how people should collaborate and work together to drive innovation uh, internally as well as with their customers. But I think there's there's a few more things that we're starting to see uh, which are driving adoption for Google Cloud. The first is flexibility. You know, we are we are we're driving a true uh, multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategy where we are helping customers avoid lock-in and have the strongest commitment to multi-cloud through our Anthos and BigQuery platform. That's the first part of it. The second part is what we are seeing is insights from data. Data, like we've all heard, is the new you know, fuel. Uh, and we are the leader in AI and ML as Google. You know, we've been working for so many years on AI ML technologies. Now we've hardened them as services and we are offering them as Google Cloud services. But Google per se has been in the AI ML domain for a large number of years. And, uh, you know, the power of Google's data analytics, uh, putting that behind customers is really what's causing the differentiated story. Uh, the other thing is about industry solutions, you know, customized industry solutions. We are building first party and package solutions to tackle the challenges in core industries. Those six that I spoke about, uh, you know, new digital capabilities across those six verticals. Uh, you know, these could be, for example, if you're in the retail space, you know, inventory forecasting, demand forecasting is a big problem. How can we build a solution around that? Uh, the next thing there we are seeing is security. Customers are loving the fact that they can now protect their data with the same security tools that they, you know, that are that have been used by Google for so many years. You know, that's what's built by Google and used by Google. And the last but not least is sustainability. That is right now top of mind for customers. You know, we are the cleanest cloud in the industry. We're carbon neutral since 2007. And that I think is again, you know, if you look at big conglomerates, if you look at large, you know, um, you know, companies, organizations, multinationals, sustainability is a big thing there. And we are clearly leading the pack as far as that is concerned. Apart from these three, Bikram, would you, can you point out any other differentiators, any other key focus areas that uh, gives you an edge over your competitors? Industry solutions is really the big one. Right? Think about it. In the digital world, traditionally, cloud has been about, here's good infrastructure, all the best. Google has come in with a story which is different to say, hey, we'll provide you with the infrastructure, which is world class. But we're also going to give you solutions to your business problems. Right. If you're an e-commerce company, your big business problems are route optimization. Your big business problems are customer acquisition. Your big business problems are how do I reduce customer acquisition cost? How do I increase conversion? Right. If you are a telecom company, your big business problems are I have lots of data. How do I monetize it? If you are a bank, you have so many problems. You know, you're thinking about UPI. How do I solve for that? You're thinking about, you know, uh, lending as a problem. You know, how do you ensure that you do the most efficient lending and you bring in as many customers as possible into your lending services? Today, India credit is a big, big market, right? So the whole concept of industry solutions is where we lead because traditionally most cloud providers have spoken about good infrastructure, good technology. We can give this to you. But for Google, it's about world class infrastructure. And then it's about solutions on top of that. 